What's going on guys, JFC here. It is Conte Day today, and the reason we know for sure that it's Conte Day, we will look at in a sec here. We've got some EAFC 24 leaks again today, and also we're gonna talk about preparing for that Conte and preparing for FUB Birthday Team 2, which we've actually not heard much about yet. Usually we kind of maybe hear a leak or two at this time in the week, so weird we haven't yet, but I'm assuming we're gonna see it like probably in my next video tomorrow. I'm assuming we'll have leaks about it. If you guys don't wanna deal with trading at all, you guys can go to the link in my description, go to u7buy.com. Com. They're a fast and very, very reliable coin service. The 5% tax is also covered. You can use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount. Thank you to U7Buy for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to it. But in the meantime, we don't really right now. We have shutdown SBCs that came out today. Mateus Cunha and Morgan Gibbs-White. Now, um, now, both these Gibbs-White requires 83, 85, 86. Um, ooh, okay. Morgan mids-White. I mean, like this card is just, like, I don't know where you're going to play him. Is he a box-to-box -box center mid? I mean, he's got a high medium is he a cam 84 finishing if they win i mean it's just not good i'm gonna be honest it's just not very good we have mateus cunha here definitely looks like the better one um six foot left mid and cam he can play if they win i think it'll actually be a pretty decent card and he's actually a little bit cheaper too i think he's 83 85 86 oh god i mean it's uh, don't do this i mean don't do either of these if they if wolves win this card actually isn't bad by any means but it's like if they don't you just kind of got like an average card for like an 85 and 86 squad it's just not worth it they also get a five star weekly if they were to win or draw so even in that case you know gibbs white isn't going to be much better for you and cunha could be a little bit better for you if it gets a five star weak foot but um still it's just okay and gibbs white is just bad in my opinion other than that not much first owner fiesta refreshed and there's another swap token in it today it's just win one match i think yeah it's win one match to get another fun birthday swaps token and then uh you have to win seven to get all the rewards and they're not just 12 games i think it actually refreshes today oh uh, when you're seeing this so if you want to play the 12 games before it refreshes today go for it because it refreshes literally at 6 p.m content time i don't know if that was on purpose or usually it's not on purpose but um anyway game limits are disgustingly just terrible and uh skill-based matchmaking in them is just horrendous as well but we won't get into that too much we get um today for the uh, daily upgrade we get the 84 plus rare gold player okay cool free fodder we'll take it and also everybody once again this weekend i think has enough qualifying points to try and qualify for weekend leagues so nice of you to do that as well for a lot of the casuals out there that like don't have enough points i actually almost forgot to talk about michael antonio um he actually looks okay the five-star weak foot is really nice the the physicals are there pace is there shooting is pretty nice as well the traits um no finesse shot and no outside foot with all these traits is kind of funny giant throw it is interesting there but um he's okay but three squads 82 83 86 is uh, i'm not so sure i don't know why i'm making those noises but uh now let's look at these leaks and the reason that we know for sure it's angolo conte day today michael antonio's birthday was march 28th and he came out as an sbc today or yesterday when you're seeing this video now today angolo conte is born on march 29th so we are going to get this angolo conte today so what does that mean for the market and stuff we'll look at that here in a sec but exciting times because i think this content is going to be very very good also expensive but also very very good and content in this game does have that juice of just he intercepts everything even though his legs are teeny like he just runs and gets to everything he's got that you know angolo conte juice i'm sure if you're familiar with fifa you know uh when is urzil coming though says this random person sheriff replies he was supposed to come as an objective last friday same for kalazanak now i think ea realized kalazanak had a showdown card two months ago and that urzil deserves an end of an era card so it looks like we had that leaked message urzil card as an objective you know it was like three four days ago now looks like sheriff has said that um they kind of scrapped it for urzil retired like probably a couple days before they were gonna release that objective card which kind of threw a wrench into things looks like he's gonna come as an end of an era card sometime soon which is cool i'm glad because probably the urzil card probably really wouldn't have been that juiced now the end of an era card should be really nice claws and i have no idea what they're gonna do with him i don't know why he got scrapped but uh he did let's get to ea fc 24 leagues here because we do have another big one it's a uh, real clubs will be included in online career mode sorry for the misunderstanding if you guys don't know we had the leak that was right here no real clubs in the online career mode you have to create your own looks like that was just kind of a misunderstanding or pre-alpha type thing and uh real clubs are going to be included i figured this was the case when this leak came out i was a little bit skeptical because i was like there's no way they're going to invest this much time into an online career mode and then not have us be able to use clubs that makes no sense so 
Big W there. Still needed to hear it, and we did get to hear it. Exclusive FIFA 23 upcoming foot promos. We've got Trophy Titans. Okay, that's a new one. We've never heard of that one before. Team of the Season and Shapeshifters, which we've, we've, we've kind of figured these two would be coming out, so it's not really a leak, but... Trophy Titans is something interesting. I don't know what that means. Guess players have won a lot of trophies in the past, maybe. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see here. Now we actually have team of the season release dates, at least rumored going around right now. Now these look like the dates that voting actually begins on. So take the dates that you see here and maybe push them back like a week. So Premier League probably begins April 25th and then unknown April 28th. Bundesliga probably April 31st. I don't even know if there's 31 days in April, but you get my point. Just go pretty much go seven days beyond the dates here. And those are probably the release dates for team of the season it's kind of crazy the team of the season is you know we're starting to think about it. it feels like fifa 23 hasn't been out that long but we're already getting the tots and honestly i love team of the season people kind of start to say the game starts to kind of die once team of the season gets towards the end and it's just like for me it kind of breathes a second life into the game a little bit sure you might not try as much for rewards and stuff but you get to use so many fun players and the market kind of gets really cheap that um, i still think it's a lot of fun honestly i do um and i missed this tweet actually it celebrates the players with the most achieving in a beautiful game so for achievements i guess sorry yeah it's gonna be i guess players that's uh, have won a lot in their careers we do actually have some ufl gameplay leaked and um i guess it's not leaked it just was released by them yeah this is pre this is alpha version 2023 here um and it looks somewhat interesting you know there's some couple good animations in here it looks a little smoother than like i think the goals one did at least in my opinion that uh we saw a little bit earlier but the thing about games like this that are you know gonna kind of compete with the fifas of the world or the ea sports fcs of the world like like obviously the first year these games come out it's not going to look as good as fifa it's just not going to so you can't really hate on it too much like you have to let them build and build upon a game engine and let them kind of compete with fifa or ea sports fc i guess we'll call it because it is just good for competition right like if you want fifa to get better or i guess ea sports fc let's keep calling it that it's gonna take a while to get used to you can't just instantly start hating on something like this because it doesn't look as good as like fifa gameplay does it's not going to it's not going to look as good as FIFA does in a year. There's just no way it's going to. But you know what this does? If in two years time comes out, the gameplay is just fun and people start playing it, EA are going to have to just do better as a company because there will be at least a little bit of market competition. That is a good thing for us consumers. It's just a good thing. So you can't in one hand say, this looks awful, LOL, LOL, who's going to play this shit? And then also say, I hate FIFA. It's garbage. It sucks every year. It's like, you wonder why they don't innovate. They don't have any competition. So let them do their thing. You have UFL coming out. You have goals coming out. There will be a new FIFA game. I don't have any faith in that one though i'm not at all that won't come out for another three four years probably but just let, let's just see let's just see what it's like right if it sucks then it sucks but you know what if it's fun and it's just a good time to play with your friends and they have cool game modes in it that can, you can play with your friends then it might be a nice alternative to fifa you know it might be looking at the rest of the market here uh it's not any different really than yesterday it's just not people aren't really buying right now at all because there's a lot of uncertainty with the fall birthday team 2 coming out soon no word if we get a team 2 of icons but i'm assuming we're going to and the icons are one of the most kind of hype up parts of this promo it's causing a lot of the really really high-end market to drop because guys like puskas came into the game guys like jerzinho a uh, cantina and uh author mateus this rivaldo sbc that came out was really really good it's just caused some selling and i do think that the team two can probably do the same thing so how is conte going to affect this market right very big sbc very hyped up player very good in game probably gonna be kind of expensive to do People are probably still going to be wanting to do him, though. What is probably going to happen is you'll see link investments up a little bit. Guys like Fofana. I think Fofana's already gone up just a little bit since the Conte leak. I think he was like 380 before the leak. Yeah, he was. I think he was like 360, 380 up to 400K now. Not a huge, you know, move there. But we're seeing some of that, like, link stuff kind of go up a little bit. And my guess is you could see some selling on some, like, Prem midfielders, maybe. You know, just talking, like, midfielders from the Prem that could be in a position similar to Conte. Or even icons, too, like Vieira. I think you could see some selling. But I, at the same time, Conte's going to be expensive. And I think that's what I want to talk about right now, because with all of the fodder they're giving us, the daily logins, the first owner fiestas, the swap rewards, that kind of stuff right now, they're making things a little bit more expensive than they probably usually would be, which means Conte is probably going to be 1.5 mil. That's probably what he's going to be. His winter wild card was 1 million coins. He still is right now. That's probably going to be a plus two on it. It's going to be expensive. So what does that mean for high rated fodder? It is going up a little bit right now. 89 pluses we talked about yesterday. I think I really liked those. You bought those they're already up a little bit which is good 89s 90s 91s are already up like uh 2000 or so the only way that doesn't really work out is if Conte comes out he's three million coins <laughs> if he's three mil 
He might not be done very much. We'll probably see some fodder selling. I think it will just, it's just inevitable that it's gonna do well if Conte's somewhat reasonable. And I'm not even talking like cheap. I'm just talking reasonable. But going back to like the regular stuff here, this is just why I'm not a fan of being in cards right now. I think that with good content on the way, so we have Foot Birthday Team 2, player SPCs every single day. Icon Team 2 could be coming soon here. Just not the biggest fan of being into stuff. Especially like if you're, you know, buying Foot Birthday cards here, uh, I'd wait till Thursday. I think we'll talk about that tomorrow. I think marquee matchups is gonna be done by everybody probably be a token in it which means there'll be extra supply on marquee matchups but if you want to buy those cards i would probably pick that date but even then we could see if team two is really good we could see a lot of stuff dropping and we should have leaks i'm assuming a, a player or two for the next video and i will for sure know by the day that the promo is coming out uh so we'll just have to kind of wait and see but birthday for the grinders out there has kind of been a w so far these premium electrum upgrade packs have been pretty fun to do honestly i'm not gonna lie yesterday i just did a bunch of bronze packs opened those rinsed those with the silver players put them into the premium electrum players pack upgrades that gets you a lot of good stuff for league sbcs i was able to do the 80 plus player pick and just kind of run through that i'm two squads off revaldo right now i got to do a couple of those squads straight from bronze packs pretty much it's been a lot of fun if you guys want a full like tutorial on how to do that i could for sure make that video but i think that's it i love you all see this video very very soon peace